Hey guys, this is Gus from Hard Run Plug, and today we're going to be unboxing the Skull Mini. We're going to unbox it, see what's inside, along with comparing it with other mice. With that being said, let's begin. Alright guys, so here's the Skull Mini. Now, real quickly, let's compare the box of uh, the original Skull with the Skull Mini. So there is a little bit of subtle differences other than the color. One of the biggest ones is the name of the logo. If you see below, one says G Wolves and the other one says G Sevlo. So this is not a fake copy. This is actually from G Wolves. Except they made a big dummy move. They didn't trademark their name brand. So someone took it and they had to change the name. They just put the wolves backwards. So this is the original copy. So if you receive something that says G Sevlo and you thought it was a fake, it's not. So don't be alarmed. You're good. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. All right. Haven't done one of these unboxings in a while. And I really like G Wolves products because they include a lot of extra goodies that I think are pretty good for the value you know what I mean they're really aim, aimed towards uh, mouse enthusiasts and I really like that a lot about them so let's see what we get all right so my old school came with a nice tin it came with a uh, limited edition it came with this now I don't think I've seen limited edition tins on the skull mini but we're gonna see what's inside let's see I love Jewels products. They're so pretty. They're so awesome. The unboxing experience is amazing. If you never own a Jewels product, you gotta buy. You gotta buy one just to at least try the unboxing experience. I think all companies should make unboxing experience like this. I really enjoy unboxing these type of products, especially from Jewels. All right. So unfortunately, we get a regular tin, no cool animation or anything like that. But that's okay. We didn't buy it for the tin. We bought it for the mouse. So, let's see. Alrighty. Now, right. let's just put this out of the way. Right. I'm really curious to see how it's gonna fit in my hand compared to the uh, compared to the regular skull. One of the problems I had with the Mira S was that it was slightly too big on the sides. And so I added these grip tape to uh, accommodate for the thinness of the mouse. And now it feels a lot better. I'm able to play with it. So I'm really curious to see how they shape this mouse. I don't know if it's just a just an exact the exact same mouse but miniaturized. Cause I really had a hard time adjusting to this. I thought that mini mice were great, but they're not all with their that they're not all that they're cut out to be. For example, Razer, we have the we have the Viper Ultimate, and I think that they did a good move with the Viper Mini because they made a miniaturized version, but they made some adjustments that I think were pretty good. For example, they made the hump higher in this, and they made it a little thinner. So it's best for it has more palm support for uh, claw grip players, whereas this was this was. This is okay for claw grip, but it really wasn't the best. This is more for like a large size hands and for finger tipping, in my opinion. But you can claw it, you can palm it, but it wasn't really the best for any of that. The Viper Mini, however, the shape the Razer did it, the shape the Razer did was actually pretty good and well made. Now, I didn't like the Mira S's shape because like I said, it was too thin. I think that if companies are gonna make small mice, they should in at least include thick grips on the sides. I think that would help a lot. And it would give people with larger hand size the option to put them on and to have and to really enjoy the mouse. So I'm really curious to unbox this and see if the shape of the mouse is either too small or if it's just right. All right, all right, these are the the pink switches, the TCC pink switches, which I am really curious to try. I'm really curious to try it, and I'm gonna be installing these soon, so look out for that. 
All right, it comes with grips. And you know what? These look kind of thick. All right. I already like I I already like this because the Mira S's grips were really and I mean really paper thin. They didn't give no width at all. But these look a little thicker. So I think they're going to provide a little bit more width on the mouse and it's going to give the it's going to give people with bigger hands the option to use it. But to finalize all that, I will have to make a, a review. Well, my brother Carlos, either Carlos or me are going to make the review. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and test these scripts out to give you guys that type of info. Now, let's, let's unbox the, let's take out the Skull Mini. All right, nice. White PT Fifi, finally. All right, so right here, difference. You see that? see that see the feet they're different so they're not the same they're not the 1.1 into the mouse feet these are different and they're white PTF feet now the feet on the, on the skull were they weren't the best but they weren't the worst I feel like the mirror S's white PTF feet are actually worse than the standard black Teflon feet from the skull um, but let's try it let's try out the, uh, the feet on the skull mini okay they actually they actually feel they actually feel pretty good I can however feel the corners snag on my mouse pad but it actually feels way smoother than well okay yeah they feel waste they feel they don't feel way smoother but they do feel smoother than the ones on the uh, on the mirror s but they're not that bad Right, so that's pretty good. So let's do a sound test real quick. All right, that's mouse one and two. Now let's do the scroll wheel. All right. All right, really silent and tactile. All right. Uh, side buttons. Ooh. Wow, I actually like the side buttons. They're really responsive and wow. Wow, really low pre travel. I like him. A lot. Ooh. I really like him. The only other side buttons that I've really liked came from the Zowie S2. I really like the buttons on that mouse. The quality of that mouse is actually really good. And the side buttons are one of my favorite things on that mouse. And these are, they're not similar, but they, they feel nice. You know what I mean? Alrighty. Now, another subtle difference I can notice right away is the scroll wheel. We can see that the scroll wheel on the skull is skeletalized. Skeletalized right here. Where as opposed to the skull minis is solid so there's gonna be more it's not gonna I feel like this is more sturdier than the it's gonna be more sturdier than the standard skull so that's pretty good if you had issues with your mouse wheel this should resolve it this should but won't know until we try Right, it's actually really, really light in the hand. Really light. It's, it's, it's actually significantly heavier than the regular skull. Yeah, the skull mini is actually really, really light. I actually, okay, okay. So, I'm a, I, I'm a palm player, and I can already tell that I'm gonna need those grips. I'm definitely gonna need those grips because I feel like I don't have that much. I feel like the mouse is gonna slip off because it's too it's too small on the on the sides and the height is not that not that much. I my my main is the hottie. I've been using this for months, and I really like the height and the width. And this is, I want to say it's the same height, but the width is just too thin for me. I, yeah, I think the grips are definitely gonna help. I don't want to put them on yet. I want to try playing with it first. And if I feel like I need them, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. But initial first impressions so far, 
I think it's okay. I think it's an okay mouse. I really need to play it to give you guys a final opinion. My brother, my brother Carlos is going to be releasing the uh, the unboxing for that. Oh, well, the my brother Carlos is going to be releasing the review for it. Well, either him or I, but it is going to be dropping soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope this helps. The cable is the same as the other G Wolves cables, which is a pretty damn good paracord cable, if I say so myself. But yeah, let's see Cyflix. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, so there is Cyflix, but it feels. We have to press it right here in the center. Here on the sides, it's solid as hell. There's no side flex here. However, here, there's a little side flex. In the bottom. Yeah, there's definitely side flex there too. But, I mean, you shouldn't be pressing the bottom anyway. But, yeah. All right. All right, guys. I hope you guys, hope that helped. Um, real quick, okay, let's, before I go, let's go ahead and compare it with these other little mice. Alright, so, this is good if you're, if you're small-handed and you want to do, you, know, you want to do palm. This is good if you're small-handed and you want to do claw. And this is good if you want to do palm, but you want an ergo shape. So, depending on your play style and your size of your hand, you know, each one may be for you. It really all just depends on what you want, but yeah, I think that the Skull Mini so far is okay. I really gotta play with it. The shape, the shape doesn't really excite me to be honest. It's just a smaller version of Skull, but we'll go ahead and see how it performs. There's one thing that surprised me about small mice is that I perform really well. I actually perform really well with this one. I perform better with the Mira S than I do with the Hottie. But I'm not consistent with it because my grip. Now, maybe this one because it's bigger on the sides and the shape is ergo. I may just end up liking this one a lot more. But we'll go ahead and try that out and give you guys a final review. Um, but yeah, this is Gus from Hardware Unplugged, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.